Oh, I, it's JavaScript world and yet another new framework. It happens a lot, a lot of new exciting things, a lot of new frameworks and a lot of new improvements in JavaScript space. My name is Rohan and I create tech tutorials on this channel. So let's get started and talk about Tori a little bit. Tori is getting popular day by day uh, because it has a lot of improvements that, you know, covers the drawbacks of Electron.js. So uh, what does this technology do actually? So Tori and Electron.js are frameworks which help you to develop native desktop applications, right? In this video, we are going to discuss about, uh, you know, some differences, technical differences and some theoretical differences between Tori and Electron.js. So you can decide like which framework to choose while building desktop application. Uh, there are a lot of native application that we use every day on our desktops, right? For me, VS Code is one of the most used desktop apps on my laptop and it is based on Electron.js. There are Discord, there is Figma that I use daily that are also built on like, you know, uh, uh, this, this technologies. So let's just dive into and understand what Electron.js is and what Tori is and what are differences, advantages on of these frameworks and so that you can chase the perfect one while you are building a desktop applications. Uh, let's just get started with Electron first what is it and what it does actually. So Electron is a framework that is like is well uh, you know present in the community now and and talk about Electron there are a lot of applications that are developed in Electron that you use every day and I use every day. Electron is a framework right and uh, there are a couple of things that you need to understand about Electron. Most of them uh, are reasons that Tori came in and they are solving it right but the thing is electron is a framework right which allows you to write desktop applications which allow you to write desktop application using certain web technologies like HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript right you can write desktop application using web technologies like CSS, HTML, uh, JavaScript or any JavaScript framework as well right uh, now the issue is uh, Electron is built on top of Chromium engine right and Chromium engine is very heavy it's very heavy it's very heavy like you know there are some performance issue as well with this there are some performance issue as well right so uh, one best thing is it also comes with you know node.js runtime right electron comes with node.js runtime which means that you can access the node.js api right which means you can access the node.js api and you will have api access as of web browser right that will make your application right you know very rich or uh, making very interactive user interfaces right so you can access some of the uh, browser apis in case of electron right but the disadvantage is chromium is very heavy and performance issue so it makes it very large right there are very high startup times as well when you open an electron application right now moving forward let's let's look into uh, electrons uh, website and what does it offers so if you go to electrons website it just says like build cross-platform desktop application this platform includes uh, windows mac and linux right and there are a lot of great documentation there are a lot of great features that came in now right which automatic software updates application installers app distribution they have you know streamline various features various uh, way to streamline application and make it easier for distribution right there are crash reportings right so uh, you can use any of this technology to you know build uh, electron application moving ahead uh, there are a lot of community work that have been done in electron which allows you to build electron application in more easier way in a more like you know uh, standard way right uh, if you go down and you, you'll see that a lot of your apps that you use every day are built on Electron, right? Uh, there is Microsoft Teams, there is uh, Discord, Figma, uh, Loom, GitHub Desktop, whatever apps you see are built on uh, uh, Electron.js, right? Uh, 
so certain in the certain case like the the the, the you know the size of the desktop app doesn't matter uh, to the user much electron is a great way to choose that right and uh, there is already a lot of work done in community everyone is well aware of electron and you can get help easily in case of electron right and as a javascript developer uh, people tend to use electron because electron has node.js apis available and you know for writing the back end of your front end you don't need to run extra language that is rust that is in case of uh, tori that we'll talk about that next right but this is how uh, you know the electron looks like uh, great community support uh, backed by github right and there are a lot of things that have given uh, you know uh, uh, electron so if you're targeting to build a great uh, you know enterprise level or great desktop application that you want electron is a great choice to go it with that it comes with bit of trade-off we'll see that what trade-offs are so let's move into tori uh, as of now and come back again so let's talk about uh, tori now right so tori is another open source cross-platform desktop creation uh, framework that allows you to build desktop application again uh, again speaking with you know web technologies right so uh, it also allows to write html css javascript or any framework right or any framework to create uh, desktop applications right uh, a Tori is designed to be more lightweight and performant than Electron JS, right? Because it does not include Chromium, right? Because it does not include Chromium. Tori uses a minimal uh, web view, right? Where this things renders out here, right? It uses a very minimal web view, uh, which 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 renders this your uh, web code that is written right to create you know user application interfaces right this means uh, tori has clearly a small footprint memory footprint right and perform better than like electron application the startup time is very less in case of tori i've tried creating applications with tori and electron there are a lot of differences that were listed someone i'll, I'll find out and i'll share you uh, in this video itself and uh, the difference is very very clear i can see the difference very very clear the startup time is great in tori the 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 storage like you know the space that apps takes in uh, tori is also less right so why not like go ahead and see like you know what are the what are the what are the differences in that right so talking about few differences we have already talked right uh, uh, that, that electron is bit heavier side but tori is lesser side but there there are there, there is a website for tori just quickly look into that and before moving to you know uh, differences between them so tori in is, is creating a certain certain language right you know it, it takes concern with the you know performance uh, optimization and security as well for creating you know uh, a desktop application right so there are a lot of work that have been going in tori as well there is there is a lot of community work and there are a lot of things that are focused upon right it is well work but the thing is it is based on um, it is it is the back end of it it is in rust so as a javascript developer you need to learn rust as well while building a tori application so you need to also know uh, rust while writing you know back end of the front end when you're interacting with native apis in case of electron you can use node.js api to interact with the native right and as a javascript developer it doesn't feel much differences because if you write server side code it can tackle that as well but in case of tori you have to know rust because when making native calls you have to write that code in uh, rust right any clicks or any action that happens right that is one of the disadvantages but there are a lot of things that have been uh, you know present in electron now are present here as well like self arbiter like you know uh, bundler like native notification there are a lot of things that that it supposed now the thing is interesting thing is it is planning to have this mobile bundler as well so it will not support only desktop application but it has planned there is only one point like you know alpha version already out for mobile uh, which targets android and ios that is like really interesting really really interesting right uh, so uh, so let's move on quickly and see like you know uh, uh, what tori is and uh, what electron differences are so tori have a lot of projects if you if you go to this site like tori apps and tori there are a lot of projects like you know 
uh there, there, there are uh, things very se well separated they are well maintained now a lot of things are in alpha not that matured but yet you know, it provides a lot of uh, great uh, uh, gr great things to with it right uh so uh, if you see this it targets this thing but the thing is it is also coming soon in ipad os or ios or android as well it will target mobile application as well so it's just interesting to see it, how it tackles it how it tackles the you know apis how it tackles the uh, ui that we are building right but again it's a web view uh, that that goes it, it goes into so maybe there will be certain optimization and we can see a uh, lot of thing again a lot of features present but i would like to go into a difference uh, table that were present in this talk itself few months back let's go into that and compare it first right now if you see the differences between tori and electron you'll find like installer size is like you know uh 3 mb in case of like 52 mb this number is not that exactly accurate but there are some one to b mb difference but this is actually you know uh present in case of i created a uh like you know blank application in electron i blank application in a tori tori had like around 5 mbs or 4 mbs and electron had like this 52 54 mbs right so there is dif different different like you know definitely a difference because that comes with you know this chromium engine right the, this this chromium engine right because it coming it is very heavy it's performance heavy uh, and and you know is very big in size so you have to bundle this engine with electron app that's why the size increases right memory consume obviously i can see like differences i i went to that process bar and so like how they are performing but you know it was not doing anything then also it was taking some memory like one percent two percent memory of my computer right launch time is definitely one thing that i have seen i have noticed right now again interface probably chromium this is one of the major disadvantage but coming to backend binding uh javascript developer knows like you know node js api syntax and all so there will be some uh easier side while writing in electron right but in tori you have to write that thing in rust right so that is a uh, extra challenge to a javascript developer while building native application using tori uh and again underlying engine is again v8 here and here is rust again you have to know rust while writing writing the backend bindings right so there are a lot of things that uh, comes in right uh, but the thing is interesting i am interested is, is in android and ios binary that is they are saying soon right they are um, providing but this is like old redmi but now i recently saw their blog if you go to tori's blog they are saying that our uh, you know tori plus mobile alpha is already out uh, in the market and you can go ahead and you know learn about it like how it targets so they have shown a demo where they're running this android and android android and ios applications but that's pretty much interesting uh, to see how it goes and how it performs out in the market uh, right but it's increasing the adoption is increasing people are really lo loving uh, tori because there are a lot of traction towards rust language as well which makes things faster and you know a lot of developers are learning that but conclusion i like i would like to do both tori and uh, you know electron are powerful frameworks for building desktop application but you know each of them have their advantages and disadvantages but while building certain application uh you have to see your use case but i would suggest like you know if you need some performance great runtime small app your medium size application you are creating choose uh tori it is great performance for example you're creating a like you know tray applications or you are creating a, a notification uh, tray application so Tori would great choice, but still evolving. Lot of support needs to be done there. Electron it will matured. Many enterprises still today will choose Electron because there is well community support. There are well you know structured open source you know contributors have built their own uh, ecosystem to build Electron apps, uh, Electron Forge, and all. So that is definitely make difference that make difference right so still it will be great to see like down the line four years five years how this competition is gonna be i hope you have loved this comparison between electron and tori that could help you decide which framework to choose while developing desktop application i hope like you have subscribed to this channel because i wanted to bring a lot of tech tutorials on this channel that can help you out to become a better developer and learn something new every day on the technology side right with that let me know uh, which technology you are choosing and what are your thoughts on 
developing native application uh, desktop application with this story or electron js and if you are developing something now what you will choose right with that i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye and just subscribe to the channel bye bye